In the last video, we managed to get our selected image path or our image URI and our selected image bitmap. And now we're ready to take either the bitmap or the URI and get it ready for uploading to Firebase storage. So if you remember, we received the URI and also the, or the bitmap through this interface. And now we have them assigned to these variables, uh, M selected bitmap and oops, and M selected URI. So now we just need to take whatever variable we have and upload it. So let's go down into the init method and we're going to attach an onclick listener to the post button. So m post uh, set onclick listener, new onclick listener, and implement the interface. And we can just log that we uh, clicked it. So we can say attempting to post. And now we just need to check and make sure that all of the fields aren't empty before we upload that new photo. So we can go if, and we need to check a bunch of the fields. So is empty, we can do not. So we'll do not is empty and the first one is the title. So get text to string and then do and not is empty. And same thing with the description. Whoops. And then same thing again. So and not is empty. And the next one we'll do is the price. and not is empty. And I, I probably didn't tell you, but below I created a method called is empty that just returns uh, true if the, if the string is empty and then false if it isn't. So that's what we're doing right here. And then we have state province, get text to string, and is empty m city, whoops. Get text to string. And last one is the contact email. Get text. Whoops, need is empty. And not is empty. M, uh, which one was it? Email, contact email. Get text to string. Okay, so there's all of our fields. So once, if we actually manage to get inside this if statement, we know that all of our fields aren't null. So the next thing we need to check for is to see which situation we're dealing with. The, the first situation is going to be if we have a selected bitmap and we don't have a URI. And the other situation is going to be if we have, what did I say the first one? Well, the other, it would be the opposite, whatever I said. So we have a bitmap and no URI. So if, well, what happened there? If the selected bitmap does not equal null and the selected URI equals null. And then we'll have an else if down below that. So else if this one will be if we have the selected bitmap equals null and the m selected URI does not equal null. And that, that's going to be our two situations we're dealing with. I guess I could do a comment here. So uh, we have a, we have no bitmap and a URI. So I'm going to use the same method for uploading, whatever one it is. It's going to be, going to be called uh, upload new photo. And I'm going to overload it so it can handle each either either situation, basically. So in this case, we're going to be passing the bitmap. And then in the other case, we'll be passing the URI. And then we also need to put an uh, else statement uh, at the end of this if here. So just do else. Uh, we got to let them know that they need to fill out all the fields. Oops, so I need get activity and then you must fill out all the fields. Okay, so let's make this method. So private void upload new photo and it can either take a bitmap bitmap or there'll be one more case where we'll have a URI. So URI, I'm just going to say image path. So if you've ever uploaded anything to any kind of a storage system before, you know that it's always a good idea to resize the images first because Android doesn't compress their images by default when they send them to an app. So basically when the app gets it, it's going to be in a completely uncompressed state. So they're going to be typically pretty large. So even if you use a compression of 0%, so in other words, a compression that uses loses no image quality, you're still going to get a significant save in uh, space. So you almost always definitely want to compress images. So that's what we need to do before we actually upload. So we're going to create um, one more method and it's going to be actually 
a background task that resizes the image. And the reason we want to do it on a background thread is because, uh, well, number one actually is when we typecast a URI or when we convert a URI to a bitmap object, that can, that can slow down the main UI thread. So we're going to be doing that in the background task. But number two is when you actually compress the uh, byte array, that can also slow down your main UI thread. And then additionally, if you wanted to do it in iterations, which we're not going to be doing, but if you did, you would definitely want to be doing that on a background thread. So we'll create a uh, async task class here. So public uh, class background image resize. Background image resize, and that'll extend uh, async task. And our parameters will be a URI, an integer, and then a byte array, which is what we're going to return at the end of everything. And we'll get our, uh, we need a bitmap. So bitmap, bitmap. And we're going to need our constructor which will take the bitmap and we can say because um, we're gonna have to do a little bit of uh, handle a little bit of logic in here because we don't know if we're gonna have either a bitmap or a URI there's basically two situations so we have to go if bitmap does not equal null then we can assign this global bitmap but if it is null that means we're gonna have a URI so we won't actually need to assign the bitmap so now let's uh, insert the override methods for the async task so we need do in background we need on post execute and we need on pre execute okay I like to put the on post execute at the bottom uh, do in background in the middle and then on pre execute up at the top okay so this starts with on pre execute uh, that's the first method that runs and it technically still runs on the uh, main thread it doesn't work run in the background so I can go get activity and then we can say compressing image so the user knows what's going on. And then we can show a progress bar, which will show on the main thread because on pre execute runs on the main thread. Do in background is the one that runs in the background. So this is the one where we're going to handle all of our resizing. So let's actually get rid of this return and we'll go uh, log and we'll just say that it started. And now we can say if the bitmap Actually, I want to change this variable name to mbitmap. So if mbitmap does not equal, no, if it equals null, then we know we have a URI. And in the case, if we have a URI, that means we need to uh, get a bitmap from that URI. So this is going to cast the, or catch the IO exception, log E. And uh, if this is confusing, uh, it will definitely make sense once it's all done. I'll walk through it slowly with you and we'll go through it all uh, one more time. Okay, so we can actually just write uh, M bitmap. So if the, if the bitmap is null, basically if I haven't passed a bitmap through the constructor, that means the bitmap is null. So this if statement will run and that means we have a URI. So we need to get the bitmap or get the URI into a bitmap form because that's what we need for uploading. So we do uh, this and then get bitmap so media store get bitmap I think it's get yeah get bitmap and then we do the context which would be get activity in this case and then get content resolver and then comma and then we do the URI so in that case it's just gonna be the params zero because we're only gonna be passing one parameter and this will convert the URI object into a bitmap and a couple things to point out about this line of code right here this one actually can make your main UI thread slow down. So if I was to run this not in an async task, chances are it would slow down the main UI thread. So that's why it's a good idea to run that in the background. And uh, one more thing, which I totally just forgot. Oh, with so, so with some devices also, this can cause your image to rotate. So we're going to need to handle that rotation. Um, Samsung devices have been known to do that. So we need to write a bunch of methods to make sure that it's the right orientation before we upload it. But we're going to handle that in a different video. So now at this point, we'll have our bitmap. So now we need to convert the bitmap to a byte array, then compress it, and then we can upload it. So we need to create one more method. And we're not going to put it inside the async task. We're going to put it down below it. So here's where the async task class ends. I'm going below it. And I'm going to create a public method. So public uh, static, it's going to take a uh, bitmap and it's going to return a byte array. Whoops, state 
static byte and then get bytes from bitmap is what I'll call it and it'll take a bitmap and it'll also take an integer a quality integer this quality is going to be the amount of quality you want remaining of the image so if you want 90% quality quality would be 90 if you want 80% quality quality would be 80 so then we need a byte array output stream stream equals new byte array output stream and we just do an empty constructor and do bitmap dot compress and then we want to uh, do bitmap compress format jpeg pass the quality that we want and then the stream then we want to return stream dot to byte array and that'll do the conversion and it'll also compress it to whatever quality we passed here so now we're going to use that inside of our background task right here so we can say byte bytes equals null and then bytes equals get bytes from bitmap and we can pass our m bitmap and we're going to pass a hundred percent quality just to start here and we want to return bytes okay so now the, the bytes will be passed to the on post execute method through uh through right here and now we just need to assign it to a global variable inside of our initial class inside of the uh, post fragment class so i need to create one more global variable and i'll call it uh, so private m upload bytes because this is going to be uh, what we actually upload whoops so byte m upload bytes and this is going to be what we actually upload to storage so let's go down here and we can say m upload bytes equals bytes and then we want to hide the progress bar since everything's done and then we're going to execute the upload task which i haven't made a method for uh, but that's it so basically all i wanted to do in uh, all i wanted to achieve in this background image resize class was handling both the situations either passing the bitmap or passing the uri and then uh, if it's a uri converting it to a bitmap and then we resize it if it's already a bitmap then we don't need to convert it and we're just going to resize it and once again the reason why we're doing it on a background thread is because this line right here can slow down the main UI thread. And also, if you did want to uh, resize the image in iterations, definitely doing that on a background thread is the best idea, but we're just going to do it, uh, we're just gonna compress it to 100% quality and just upload it. So in the next video, we'll get started writing our method for executing the upload task and now uploading that byte array to uh, Firebase storage. So I'll see you in the next video.